I have to tell you, well, I only met him in big moduluses, you know, and it was basically just a quick handshake. If he was, sometimes he just sat and kind of nodded, he had his sunglasses on. And, and you knew he was weak, but we had the American Def Secretary of Defense in, or Jimmy Carter came once, I remember. And, and uh, uh, so, I, but people who met with him, even then, would come back and report first, well, physically he was weak and mentally he hadn't lost a, a step, and that the conversation was always quite sharp, always quite sharp. Uh, that Sheikh Zayed was very much aware of what the issue was, very much pursued his own country's interests, and like a good Bedouin, understood compromise. And they do. They understand how to make deals. Um, they're not, I'm, I'm generalizing, I really shouldn't generalize, but the Yemenis can be like this too. It's, it's not about idealism. It's not about religion. It's not about philosophy, although all of that is important. Religion, idealism, and philosophy are important to them. It's about what do you want, what do I want, is there a way that our interests coincide, is there a deal that can be made here? And I'm going to treat you with respect, as long as you treat me with respect. And let's see if we can't uh, come to some agreement, because I think what you're offering may be right for my country. And what you want may be something that, that we can provide. Uh, and we have had a very strong relationship with the UAE pretty much since its beginning. Uh, I think it's stronger today than it ever has been. Uh, and they have been a, 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 a good partner, but a partner that very much has its own interests in mind when they pursue uh, partnerships, if you will. Um, like any relationship, there are strains. Uh, but this one has proven itself uh, over the years. In general, I think they have good, strong, practical leaders. Again, men of, of high moral. Uh, certainly Sheikh Zayed. I mean, the, his reputation was a man of high morals. Uh, a, man, a family man, very large family, uh, in the traditional uh, uh, Emirate, Emirati Bedouin way, uh, but very much a family man, looked up to as a father. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid used to call him his father. He said, once Rashid died, he said, I consider, I consider Sheikh Zayed my father. I consider myself one of his family. Another one of those signs is Dubai. Now, some of this was Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid saying, you know, we're going to form that partnership because I believe in it. And uh, as I said from that meeting, Zayed said to his other family members or other uh, that we should believe in this too. So my sense is that, that Abu Dhabi and Dubai have grown much closer okay, together. To, I think it was 2007 when I left Yemen was the last time I've been there. And I was very much surprised with Abu Dhabi and the development that has occurred in Abu Dhabi. Beyond Sheikh Zayed's program to make it the greenest city in the Middle East, was that the way he yeah. phrased it? Uh, which was really was astonishing, uh, David, the, this city that is, there's not a lot of water, it's desert. Uh, but there, there, through some very imaginative uses of water, uh, recycling, uh, some reclamation, some uh, uh, desalination, uh, really, and the planting of thousands and thousands of trees. Uh, some people said it's changed the climate. It's made it more humid now in Abu Dhabi. I can't imagine it being any more humid.